Hello everyone, this is Laís from Be Happy Now and here is my little video and the energy forecast for March. So thank you first of all for all those that were writing in after my February forecast and I know there's a lot going on and I was saying in my forecast for February to get out of your comfort zones, to stretch yourselves, to go into that zone of magic that can only be you know, outside of our current comfort zones. And I found that um, clients that were writing in, they were telling me that uh, they were forced out of their comfort zones, some of them, because they either lost their job just recently or there were some terrible breakups. But all this is showing is that you were already out of alignment, either in your relationship or in your current job. And it's just a way for the universe to take you out of those, you know, unhealthy, toxic situations and to make space for something new, something improved, something better to come along. So if you're currently in a situation where you feel like you're losing, you know, the floor beneath your feet and everything is just going so fast and it's out of your control, just know that in the end, it's all for your own good because it's really... It's the universe taking care of you, making sure that you know you step out of that situation, out of that relationship, out of that career, out of that job, or any situation you were in, to make space for new things to come in that might be better for you, or surely will be better for you. Um, so my energy forecast for March builds up on that um, message from February, actually. I have been meditating today to, to see what's coming up in March and the first word that came to my mind was divinity and more specifically our own divinity, our own divine essence and we all have this divine essence within us and my guides were just reassuring me and telling me make sure that everybody connects to their own divine essence and that they know how divine they truly are and how powerful once they connect to that divine essence and I was giving myself a little uh, meditation exercise they gave me which went a bit like this and I will write it down in my newsletter as well so you have a step-by-step -step guide how to do it um, but what they showed me is to strip off the body so I stripped off my body um, I stripped off everything until there was nothing left apart from my inner light and, you know, I was just observing my inner light and trying to connect to that essence and it just became very bright and then it started flying around, being playful and very curious, my inner light. So I could really relate to that because I'm a very playful person and very curious and I need, you know, different experiences in my life. That's why I like traveling, meeting, you know, new people. But also in my client work, I find that my curiosity is always priority because I'm really keen on understanding what my clients are going through and finding out the reasons why. So it's this inner curiosity to help people um, that is guiding me. And that's my inner essence in a nutshell. It's this playfulness and, and this curious uh, being that also reflects in me being a monkey in Chinese horoscope, you know, they are also very curious and playful. And I just found it fascinating to keep observing my, my inner essence and it just is very grounding actually. It grounds you to, to the only thing that is important, it's your own divinity, your own center, your own heart space that, that we carry our light within our heart space, right? And I think uh, my guides were showing me this this exercise because it's very grounding and also to show that there's no need for drama there's no need for you know having this cinema in our heads when, when drama occurs where we say oh my god what happens now and what if and what if that and we get anxious and you know this exercise will just bring us out of our heads into our heart space and make sure that we connect to that divine essence that is drama free, you know? And I want you all to try this exercise. I really, really want you to connect to your divine light, to your divine essence. And I would love if you would write back to me and tell me what you saw and what the essence was like, you know, what kind of qualities did your essence have? Was it playful or was it more something different? And um, yeah, just let me know 
how this exercise goes for you. And I think it's especially important, not just in March, but the rest of the year, that you always bring back your focus to your heart space, be grounded and detach yourself from drama and see the situation as objectively as you can. Because while you know it might seem like a terrible situation, and I know many of you are facing a lot of negative issues at the moment, whether at the job or at home, in your lives. Um, but being connected to your own divine light, you just see every situation for what it is more objectively and you just detach from the overall drama and you stop being so anxious and fearful. And the more you meditate on it actually, the, the more answers you will be receiving, you know the more guidance you will be receiving from your inner space. There's, you know, you don't need to, to run to other people, ask for advice, because we all have this inner intuition, this inner guidance, and we are the only ones, really, that, that know what we have to do, know how we have to deal in any given situation. So, of course, when people come and see me and have questions, I can give guidance, but ultimately what I would love is empower people to to find their own guidance and their own answers. And this is a way, this is an excellent way to do it when you connect to that, to that divine self. So I also this time took a tarot card to summarize the energy in March and it's the world, the world card. So it has a double meaning actually. So for those that are going through difficult times and that are feeling like you know, they're carrying the burden of the whole world on their shoulders and it's heavy. It's a message to acknowledge that you're carrying so much burden and to start letting go of that burden and slowing down, you know, slowing down your life or whatever you're doing and really focusing on the things that are important in your life, which is your own well-being. So I know many of you are burnt out in your jobs, in your lives. So this is an excellent month now to let go of anything that is not good for you and just focus on yourself you know and uh, for those that already did their inner work the world is actually a very positive message it means now is the time to reflect on your inner gifts your purpose you know your life path why you're here and again you can do that by connecting to your inner light your divine inner light and having a conversation or having these feelings while, while you meditate and see what comes up. And then to ask yourself, how can I incorporate more of that essence in my daily life? So for me, I'm already doing it. You know, I'm playful. I, in my daily life, I do hula hooping, I do laughter yoga, I'm you know, cheeky with all my friends, I make them all laugh. Um, I'm a very lighthearted person. Um, and as for the curiosity also, I like to travel, meet new cultures, new people and with my client work, I incorporate it in my client work, being very curious of what everybody's doing and why and I want you to do the same once you find out your essence, your inner true essence, just ask yourself if you're implementing it already in your lives and if not, where in your life you can implement more of it. There's always space for more goodness in our lives. So whatever comes up in your meditation, whatever you see, ask yourself, how can you bring more of that into your daily life? And I mean really daily, not just, you know, once a month or once every few months, but really incorporate that true essence that is you into your daily life. And you will see amazing results because really that's what happiness is all about, sharing our gifts freely with other people with ourselves, with our communities, our families, friends. So I hope you will do that in March and let me know how you get on with your uh, visualization exercise. I actually might record a meditation um, and if I do, I will let you know in my newsletter so you can download it. And any questions, any feedback, as always, just email me back and looking forward to hearing from you as always, because I'm curious. <laughs>